Hello folks and welcome to the first episode of Bloody Diamond. As you can see, it's already a bit different with the sprites. They're just um little changes, so yeah. You know this is actually running a lot better than I thought it would. Um this movie. Because um When I ran it on my laptop and anything else, even the computers at college, it always stuttered. But since this computer is better than the ones at college, well, I suppose it comes to no surprise. As you can see, I've named uh, the character Chivy. And here I come. The only reason I named um, Dawn, as her name was, uh, Chibi, is because, unfortunately, because we're playing Bloody Diamond, this was made well before 5th gen was even a thing, back when Diamond was just out. It was made before Platinum was out, I believe. Um, I can't remember. So, unfortunately there is no chance we're going to find a Litwick. Meanwhile, every other Pokemon, like Gengar, uh, Luxray, things like that, they're all in this game. Apart from a few um, people's mascots, so... Let's go. I should say, Diamond is probably me, uh, my most played um, ROM. Mostly for the fact that the um, super card I have, it works for this. It does work with black, but it can't be randomised, or it won't work. So let's see what stars we got. Meditite, Abomasnow, and Jumplum. I'm thinking between either Meditite or Jumplum. But mind you, he hasn't got his Ice and Grass type. But then again, Jumpluff, not many people use, so it'd just be really fun to see. Let's go jump one. I should have saved a state just in case uh, the battle is unbeatable. That is one issue with these randomizers. Oh, Starlight has Mold Breaker. That's good to know. So we have Power Swap. He's lost right now. Unless he, uh, one of us busts our attack. Body Slam, Signal Beam, and Psychic. Hey, we can't see our type just yet. Okay, that wasn't bad at all. There is a glitch with every ROM hack and randomizer diamond. The, um... Text for the professor always says whatever Pokemon you've got, so it'd be for me, jump luck. And for the rival, me, well, 
for Chibi's Pokemon, Jump Bluff. For my Pokemon, it will always be Turtwig, he says. No matter what. So because we picked Piplup, he should have Meditate. So let's see our stats now. Pure Poison. Defense and speed seem to be the highest stats. Huh? With boosted attack, lowered special attack. And raises attack upon taking a crit. I'd say that's not bad. Now, the next most obvious change to the uh, ROM, all the Pokemon at Berry Lakefront will be level 5. Pokemon on this route will be level 3 and 4 I believe. So yeah, that's going to be a bit harder to deal with. But we found a magnet. If only I had an electric type move. Items we get from NPCs are still the same though. Give me that potion please. Okay. I'm gonna keep wild encounters in in this game for the first time we see them. Because unlike Zeta, the wild encounters are all the same. You know, in a certain area. So like, this Growlithe, if we were to come back, we would see him again, pretty easily. Not bad. At least you know he's got sunscreen. And it's definitely not ground or steel or rock. That's a level right there. So yeah, the first time we face a Pokemon like that Growlithe. I will keep the battle in. There's not. Yeah, you can get any Pokemon out there, like 700 that was in the game or whatever. In this, you only get a few of the 493 Pokemon. That's another side effect. If you don't have the star you're supposed to have, then yeah. 
Let's see if I can link up that name. Hmm. This is pretty much the only name I can think of. Up. Oh. As in the uh, film. Since it's catch em all mode, we should at least see all the Pokemon if we're planning on going to the, uh, like, to the Battle Resort and stuff. Let's go and get some Pokeballs and some potions. We're gonna need them. Since our main Pokemon's a poison type, we shouldn't need an antidote. So now to head home. So I'm gonna save state, just a habit, because um, if I try to catch a Pokemon and I waste a lot of Pokeballs, I usually don't plan on staying with that amount. You know, just like any legendary encounter, how you'd soft reset afterwards. It's essentially just a faster soft reset. A Porygon? Could be interesting, but can we just weaken him? Let's try Psycho Beat. Nope, that's not gonna weaken him. Rapid Pepperoni. Okay, we might have to go to Berry Lake for in order to catch another uh, party member. Healing Wish. That's the one that knocks out and heals the next Pokemon, isn't it? Overpower Swap, I suppose. There is another sprite that's been changed, I should mention. If we ever see him. And uh, that's Dialga. I'm not really going to go too into depth about that. So, yeah.
No, it's also a sad thing. No sigilith. very light front to see what we can find there. Another good thing about randomizer is legendaries might not always be the best. They might be fragile as hell but have speed that's out of this world. So yeah, like a speed form Deoxys. This situation stinks. Right. Body slam can't possibly hit super effectively. Oh great. There's no way we're gonna try and catch you then. Do that, we're gonna black out, no problem. Good. Anything new? Ah, that sucks. This is what I'm always like in Bloody Diamonds. I always come to a very late front to see what I find them. When I find nothing of interest, I just go nah. One thing I've noticed, um, Pokemon like Charmander, Pokemon like Charmander who also appear here, who were added in, they don't seem to be randomised. Like I've seen Syndicate and Charmander even through like 9 different randomised places. Okay, an extreme speed, an extreme speed quagsire. Sure. Please paralyze. Based paralyzation. All the uh, high, well, the, all the low catch rate Pokemon, even with paralyzation being a low health, it being an all Pokeball is still gonna take a little bit to catch. And you can bet your ass it's gonna be like that with Legendaries too. The thing is, if I can't weaken him any further, otherwise, he'll die. Better be worth it. I'll be back if we've uh, caught him or failed to catch him. 
Oh well. We just caught Quagsire. The, uh, Quagmire. The Quagsire. Pure Psychic type. Attack not that good. Special attack is pretty nice though. Too bad he's gonna have to learn one of them. Ignores any change in ability by the foe. Huh. Now I'm gonna go heal up and probably train these two um, off camera just a little bit. And yeah. We'll pick back up once we're a bit higher level. This um, ROM does require grinding. A lot of it. I always do that, I'm so used to the focus center. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Um, just while I'm uh, training up here, uh, I kind of thought this um, first episode of Body Diamond might be really hard to get up to an hour. Because of all the grinding I usually do. Oh, you little. But yeah, I usually do a lot of grinding in Bloody Diamond, uh, so yeah. Like immediately after the next route. Yeah, I do more grinding. So unfortunately that's a thing. Now that we're um, a bit trained up, let's start heading through this route. I wish you could just skip this. You know, you have the option to. But. Oh well. The only reason I ever usually watch this battle is to see what moves they have. Slam. What does Bidoof have? Okay, we don't even get to see. GG Nori. At least that speeds up a bit. What would happen actually if he leveled up off of that video somehow? I wonder. Hmm. That pretty much uh, makes up for the Pokeballs we used on Quagmire. All trainers are still the same levels, apart from gym leaders and elite four. Maybe a rival, I'm not sure. Hit on top. I don't think your rival's actually increased in level. I just hit the mic there. My mistake. One thing that's really weird is in Bloody Diamond, he always has a Turtwig, the arrival. You wanna know what it has? Blizzard. And his Starly that he normally has also has a super overpowered move. I can't remember what it is though. Hypno. Let's try Body Slam. Good thing we're a poison type. If you wonder why I'm hitting the mic um, by accident, it's because there's sun on my left eye. Bit annoying. Unlike Zeta, if we were to lose this battle and then come back, he would still have the hemp pill, thankfully. At the rate up is leveling, might no need to do much grinding with uh, him. Next battle, uh, Quagmire should hopefully be able to take care of.
Jirachi. Of course. It wouldn't be randomizer without trainers having legendaries. Ah, oh, great. He's a ghost, perfect. Quagmire can't do anything about um, Shirachi. Like, he actually can't because both his moves don't affect ghosts. Randomizer at its finest. Screwing you over at every turn. And when they have Wonder Guard. Oh, that's even worse. Because you don't know what type they are. You have to go through every single type possible and figure out which ones wouldn't work. Yeah, if this is a Nuzlocke. I would not be able to do it, mostly due to the fact that the higher level uh, wild Pokemon, they get absurdly high level, and due to the fact that, well, it is supposed to be a real hard romp. With a level 70 Pokemon that can appear in like of Forest, no wonder. Spike. That's just a, a different uh, Fury Swipes. Sorry, Beck. I have to. Now, please don't be a ghost type. I am begging you. Thank you. Critical. Hey, level eight. One more trainer and then we can end up the episode actually. Traffic. Huh. I ran away from the trap and I just wanted to get the grass. So yeah, let's uh about this dude. Okay, you're now a normal type. You have color change. So if I was to use revenge, that should definitely take you out. Got a shadow of a doubt. Every time. Yep, thought I'd do a fifth one. Here we go again. Okay, three times. Can you die now? Thank you. Squirrel with bullet seed. Next thing you know, we'll find a Starly with spatial rent. That actually happened to me. There was also, um,. And one of the randomizers I got? Oh, an upgrade! Hey, if we'd caught that Porygon, we could have actually upgraded him to a Porygon 2. 
bot and one of my randomizers I had a, I found a Wii file in the, the list that had 220 base attack and it had huge power. If that isn't powerful, I don't know what it is. The hang was slow as heck, but was pretty defensive as well. Not much HP though. Thing we're just gonna go ahead and uh, do heal up real quick. Next, we're gonna go get an item. Since it's given away by an NPC, it's guaranteed. Quick claw. Let's give that to Quagmire. See his price level. Next, we're gonna head out to this route temporarily, because there's a quick item we can get. Twisted Spoon, not bad. Yeah, let's give that to up. That'll boost his uh, Psychic. So yeah, I'll be using uh, this patch of grass here to train. There isn't really much else we can get. We can get an old rod, but the encounters from that are like level 10 to 13, some of that. It's not fun. I'll say that much. But yeah, this has been uh, Scottish Boy 112 signing out. Because I really don't want to have to sit with the recording software open for gosh knows how long uh, while I'm grinding. See you all next time.